Hey, this is Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to jump right into the video. I found out about Naked Wardrobe about sometime last year and I seen they had a lot of sleek basics that were super cute. And while I'm kind of in the process of trying to transform my wardrobe and kind of really find out what style I really like for my body and for my, you know, my personality, I figured, you know, it's great to start with basic pieces that go good with different types of bottoms and that can be layered, you know? Always good to have some nice basic pieces in your wardrobe. And Naked Wardrobe isn't the cheapest and of course there are cheaper alternatives, but I really wanted some quality pieces and usually when you buy the Targets and the Forever 21s and those cheaper pieces, they don't last that long and I really wanted something that would be quality, um, great material that would give me some longevity. So this haul is a culmination of about three different purchases. I took advantage of different sales that they were having. I did like a Black Friday sale. I did like a Cyber Monday sale, like a bunch of different sales um, because I am a little frugal. This would be a good time to say that this video is not sponsored. I spent my own money over $500 on about 23 pieces. So all these opinions are my own and you'll hear what I got to say. And for some housekeeping, everything in this haul will be a size large. My bust is about 39 and a half inches. My waist is about 32 to 31 inches and my hips are about 42 inches. So let's get into the pieces. So I'm going to start out with the bodysuits that I bought and I have to say these Naked Wardrobe bodysuits are awesome. I absolutely love them. They are super soft. The materials on them are nice and sturdy like and I, and I keep saying I'm gonna keep saying that they're soft like the, the material is very very quality material you can tell I was pretty nervous that they weren't gonna be long enough for my torso because I'm about 5'9 and usually when I buy bodysuits in the store the torsos are always a little bit too short and always the um it's kind of riding up, <laughs> you know, in my area. But these bodysuits are more than long enough and that was really, really a pleasant surprise because I was really nervous about that and you can't return bodysuits. So <laughs> that worked out great in my favor. And all of the bodysuits have a thong back like this. And like I said, they sit very comfortably. They're not riding up in your behind, not riding up in your nether regions. It, they just, everything sits really nice and comfortably. So that is a great plus about Naked Wardrobe. So the first bodysuit is the Come Around bodysuit in black. And this is just a great all around basic, you know, nice uh, scoop neck and long sleeve. If you're tall like me and have super long arms, you don't have to worry about the sleeves being too short. They have a lot of room. And the second bodysuit I got is the Naked Wardrobe Side Piece Bodysuit. That's the one I'm wearing right now. It's very, very comfortable. I love orange on darker skin tones, so I was really excited to get this piece. And I'm wearing a strapless bra with this. It sits fine, there's no peeking out. This, um, this bodysuit is super cute and I love it. The next two bodysuits I'm showing are the Got To Be You bodysuits in black and white. In these, I felt comfortable enough to forgo a bra. It feels very secure and they're a great basic for summer or for layering. And like I said, I my bust is pretty large from my size and my, my bust is pretty heavy. So feeling comfortable not wearing a bra with these is a big deal. The next bodysuit is called the Best X Bodysuit in black. And this one also feels secure without a bra. I love, love, love tops that have interest in the back and I love this one. This will be really cute with a flowy skirt in the summer. I'm really excited for the weather to get a little warmer so I can wear this one out. The next one is the Naked Wardrobe Fine Lines Bodysuit in Black. In this bodysuit, I'm not wearing a bra as well. And this is another one that's absolutely great for layering. I love the super duper duper skinny straps. I love how dainty it looks and how feminine it looks. And that's something that was a plus for me when I was purchasing. The next bodysuit is the Hourglass bodysuit in pink. And I have to say that this fabric was the softest of all the bodysuits. And you can actually tell the difference between the Naked Wardrobe line and the different lines, how the fabrics are. Even though they look exactly the same, they're all very soft. This particular bodysuit's fabric was, was even softer than those. Um, it's so soft though, I didn't feel secure enough to not wear a bra with it, so that says something. 
and the straps are not super thick and they're farther apart so you may need a strapless bra for this. The straps of a regular bra will probably show. The next two bodysuits are the Naked Wardrobe Tank bodysuits. I got a white and black and these look like the one that I just showed, the hourglass one in pink, but they're not quite. These ones, um, the straps are thicker and will hide your bra straps and they're, you know, another great bodysuits that are, you know, nice basics for layering. So let's move into the Snatched line and their Snatched line is supposed to be compression garments that you can wear out like not on the inside you can wear them out and the one snatched bodysuit that i got was called the y binding crew neck bodysuit in chocolate and i love 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 the color of this bodysuit and i love the ribbing on it it's extremely extremely compressing so they're not lying about being it being snatched but it's not just horizontally compressing it's actually vertically compressing as well in my opinion and even though that even though this bodysuit is still a large just like everything else it feels like it's not long enough for me i feel like my shoulders are getting pressed down when i wear this bodysuit so it feels just a little bit too short like i would need to go up a size and it was it does ride up a little bit in the crotch area um it's not um so overbearing that i can't wear the bodysuit but it just, I just feel like it needs a little bit more room, especially vertically. Horizontally, it does its job. Another piece I got from the Snatch line was the Snatch to the T romper in olive green. Once again, it's probably not long enough. I probably would need to go up a size because this bodysuit was kind of giving me a camel toe, kind of. And it's squeezing my chest down as well and the shoulders feel super pressed down i understand that it's supposed to be a compression garment but i feel like with it still being the same size as all the other body suits it could have compressed me in my waist and things but i just felt just pressed down in all areas <laughs> and it wasn't super comfortable it's not actually it's not comfortable at all for me to wear and so my recommendation is probably to go one size up in the snatched line for bodysuits and rompers. When it comes to things like crop tops and stuff, you probably don't need to go up a size because vertically there's no change, right? It's only a horizontal compression. If you have a crop top, you have nothing that's holding you up and down, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and switch gears so I can show you the dresses that I got. So I got three dresses and they all pretty much look the same, but the first one is shorter and the other two are the same. The first dress that I got is the Naked Wardrobe Get In Line Dress in Lavender. I have to say that with these dresses, I had to wear compression garments underneath. These dresses show every lump and bump and they they hug in all the places. So if you, you might want to smooth yourself out and you need to, which is what I had to do. I, there's no shame in that, right? I love, love, love the skinny straps like I mentioned before. It makes it look so dainty and feminine. My only qualm with this particular dress is that I wish it was a little longer. Like I said, I'm tall. If it would have hit me at the knees, I think I would have felt a little bit more comfortable. But there's nothing super wrong with the length. I just wish it was a little bit longer on me. But I still love the dress. And I love the color on my skin tone as well. The next two dresses are the Naked Wardrobe Solid Figure Dress in black and in orange. They are in a midi length, which I love, I love, I love. I feel sexier in the midi length than I do in the shorter length. It kind of gives it a more classy feel, in my opinion. I did feel comfortable for going a bra in these dresses. I did feel supported enough to not have to wear one. I love the skinny straps, like I said before. My only qualm with these dresses is that the bottom is not very wide at all, so it's a little tricky walking up the steps. You have to take very small steps and you have to be very careful <laughs> going on an incline. And my last nine pieces are all crop tops. The first one I want to show is from the Snatched line again, and this one is the basic top in gray. I love this top. No bra needed. It really does snatch you in. It feels super secure. It's such a cute basic. Um, I mean, what more can you say? It's a, it's a great basic. The color is cool. I actually love wearing gray. I have lots of gray sweaters and t-shirts. So it fits right in with my style. And yeah, I love it. 
The compression feels great and I love the ribbing. It just gives it some extra oomph to it. The next two that I got are the Naked Wardrobe Bando Crop Top. I got one in both white and black and I'm not wearing a strapless bra with these because any strapless bra that I would put on would actually show either above or below. Um, I'm not going to say I feel uncomfortable not wearing a bra with them but it would feel nice to have a little bit more support with them. I have worn the black one out under like a sheer uh, top and it was fine. Um, I did have some under boob sweat <laughs> though so yeah some extra support would help but you know it's still fine the next top i got was the feather me up crop in black this one is super cute to be dressed up with something it could be jeans it could be a skirt like it can, you can just dress it up with anything um the zipper is in the back to get it on and off and it seems to stay up without me needing to keep tugging in and pulling at it I do it as a habit, but it did feel pretty secure, so I didn't have to keep doing that. And I didn't have to wear a strapless bra with it. You definitely can. It, I believe it would be covered and everything, but I felt secure enough to not even have to wear one. The next two tops are called the So Extra Crop in black and white. Did not wear a bra with this top. I love, love, love the lace detailing. Like I said, I love a top that has an interesting back. It's so sexy and feminine. Interestingly enough, on the white top, the tie was long enough to tie around to the back, like from the front back to the back. But the black top was only long enough to tie to the front, which I thought was pretty weird, but I guess it put some differentiation <laughs> between the colors. I don't know, but I like them both. The next crop top is called the Not My Problem crop top, and I got that in white. And it's a very, very comfortable. The fabric is, like I've been saying, the fabrics are super soft and comfortable, but I hate the knot on this top. It looks super wimpy, and I feel like it could have been tied better or something. I just, I'm not a fan of the knot on here. It kind of makes it look cheap in a way. I don't know. I mean, I'm still gonna wear it, but I feel like it just could have gave it a little bit more. It's not giving what it was supposed to give, you know? So the next two tops that I got are basically the same. One is long sleeve and one is sleeveless and they're both the cut me some slack crop and I got them both in black. I used um, boob tape to hold my chest up in these tops. These, these tops are not secure in any way for you to go braless if you have a heavy bust no don't do it you're gonna look very very saggy there's no support in the back of the top because the back is completely out so there's nothing that's really holding your chest up so i use boob tape for these tops and you'll see a review of that boob tape coming soon enough but i love 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 this top it's so basic in the front when you turn around it's just like va va boom like i love the full back out it's just just something about it. interesting back. Like, let me know in the comments if you're into that, if you love interesting detailing on the back or having your back out. Put a comment down below. Give this video a like if you're into that. So that is it for the haul. I had 23 pieces. Let me know down in the comment section which piece is your favorite or if you've even tried Naked Wardrobe before. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you haven't tried Naked Wardrobe before, I'll put their link to their website in the description box. If you're into clothing hauls, check out my ASOS jeans haul in this video here. And if you want to see some other content on my channel, check out this video here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.